Scene six. Outside the castle of Inverness, a very short scene. Um, this is just outside the doors. Banquo and the king are arriving. Um, there's really just one main thing I want you to focus on, and it's Banquo kind of uh, mentioning something about a bird to the king and what that uh, symbolizes. Um, see if you understand it um, and uh, if it's of some sort of interest. <laughs> Scene six is really just a transitional, state, uh, transitional scene so that Macbeth can get settled into the house and can get set up for his uh, soliloquy to start the next scene. Um, but Banquo, look at where he's talking to the king about the bird. Um, uh, da, 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 this guest of summer, the temple haunting Martlet, does approve by his loved mansionry that the heaven's breath smells wooingly here. No juddy. Freeze, buttress, nor cone of van vantage, excuse me, uh, but this bird hath made his pendant bed and procreant cradle. Where they most breed and haunt, I have observed the air is delicate. So look at the footnotes, because that's kind of difficult to, to chew up all that. Um, it talks about that the bird often nests in churches, and it proves by building its nest here that the place is heavenly. So, oh, king, things are wonderful, things are going, oh, look at the bird here at Macbeth's place. This bird is associated with churches and heavenly and, and positive things. Do you see the, what we know, that dramatic irony again? Because on the other side of the door, what are they plotting? His murder and death. Okay, so this is an, a great example of that, uh, that dramatic irony again, where we know something that they don't. Um, Lady Macbeth comes out, you know, and welcomes and welcomes. You know, everything here is for you, blah, blah, blah. Where's the Thana Cotter? You know, he's inside. Well, let's go. Give me your hand and conduct me, and let's go in, and let's have this celebration, and let, let's see Macbeth. Um, like I said, a real short transitional. The main thing you wanted to see was that Banquo um, talking about that, uh, that bird uh, because it just really shows you that the king and Banquo and all of their followers, they have no idea what's being planned inside and what uh, ultimately is going to happen. 